I'm Dave. I'm Matthew, and today we've got the BMW Z4 M4DI, which is a convertible. Yeah, that's right, people. We're going Z. We're going the future. Let's have a look around this one. So BMW Z cars. Z is for Zakunft, which means uh, that's my perfect German, which actually means future. Hence the reason future for Z Z cars. Beginning in 1989 with the Z1, then gone through to Z3s and Z8s, and now the Z4s. I think there's a Z9 on the way as well. Plenty of Zs on the way, but not the sleepy kind because this is the M40i. So we'll get to the engine in a minute. But face wise, this is from the very iconic 507 look. So uh, hopefully, I'll try to show you the mixture between the two. The headlights, LEDs, and also some uh, vertical tubing involved. As we come round to the side, there's 19 inch feet. The profile is very much more masculine than it's ever been before. Some down scoops or side scoops here, making sure the uh, air flows down, keeping the front down. Obviously, convertible. We'll show you the interior in a second. And round the back, this is the most dramatic I've ever seen the Z4. Certainly twin exhaust and actually a fair amount of boot space because the roof doesn't come in to impede in here, which is actually really cool. Now let's take a look under the bonnet. Look at that, an M Performance 3 litre twin turbo straight six which has got 250 kilowatts 500 newton meters of torque and an auto 100 of under five seconds this is quite a beast it sounds really good which we'll show you in a minute but essentially it's a it's a really good high performance sports car now let's take a look inside Matthew will show you around this interior is a bit different to what you normally see from BMW they have changed the look of the center console, for example, and the CD player, which was once around here, is now gone. Instead, you've got new shape, air vents, the whole kind of dashboard itself seems to have gone undergone a transformation. All the air vents are now, instead of a more rounder shape, they're more angular. Even the side air vents over there, even the kind of stitching and the leather stitching in the dashboard itself has kind of taken on a new shape, you could say. This center console comes with a very nice to touch gear knob, which you'll definitely be using this in manual mode because it is a sports car. Some Z4 badging there and this new pattern, which I guess is specific to the Z4 line. And there's not to forget some LED lighting there. You've got BMW's iDrive system, as always, easy to use and very functional. There is isn't much storage in the cabin of this car, but you've got two decent sized cup holders and a little storage space that says Z4 in case you forgot what car you were in. Then the really neat party trick of this car is this storage space right here, which will connect you straight to the boot in case you want to carry longer items, like skis I guess, but then you don't really take your Z4 to the ski field, right? This Z4 comes with an 8-speaker Harman Kardon audio system, which is really nice to listen to when you're not listening to that awesome exhaust note that we'll show you later on. These seats, really supportive. You're going to be doing a lot of corners in this sports car, so it's important that the bolsters are strong enough to keep you in place, and they are. And for cold winter mornings like this, there's some very good seat heaters in this car. They will... um fry your bottom, bottom in a few seconds let's say. Let's take a look at how it drives. It is a sports car after all. Okay as I said before this is the sixth generation Z car. Um, it's gone through a variety of different numbers and so far settling on this third generation Z4 I think it is 
sharing the platform as we all know with the Toyota Supra there's no point in going through that because you know it's not like you don't know that by now I would assume but taking this car as it stands it's a really really well appointed well put together sports car called convertible sports car I mean it's thoroughly enjoyable to drive it's well decked out and um, it's got a roof that will go up and down and I think it's about 15 seconds and really cool what do you think I think it's faster than that actually I think it's 10 seconds is the, roof 10 is, um, the roof is just incredibly quick and you can operate it up to 50 kilometers per hour which is again a high speed for most convertibles and it's a proper Z car in every way I guess you could say front engine rear wheel drive this one's got the 3 liter twin turbo inline 6 cylinder engine which is an absolute dream and when you put your foot down sounds even better I won't do it just yet <laughs> uh, Misano blue which is this one is uh, this their press color it's amazing literally you can see it from miles away and um, I would probably go for this color I mean yeah. it's it's a car that needs to make a statement that needs to stand out and boy does this color do it um, the exhaust note is lovely when it's under under revs but I think uh, as we discussed actually discussed between us earlier you have to earn it you have to put your foot down you need to get the revs up high to get it going digital dashboard lovely really interconnected um, this has got the 7.0 um, BMW system so it doesn't have the pay BMW but it's still very well put together and also yeah no gesture control but I'm sure you know BMW drivers are used to gesture control <laughs> anyway <coughs> but it is a sports car so you're not gonna be worrying about the infotainment and the, the fiddly bits here it's more about the drive and the way it feels and in that sense it's really an excellent car because it does unlike you know modern cars I guess you could say seem to have lost a bit of sight of the fun of driving but this is something that brings that back into perspective it's open top it's real wheel drive and it's just fun yeah it really is fun and uh it feels comfortable the seats i'm actually cooking right now um <laughs> i really need to switch them off i'm in a in an alpine jacket but i really don't need to be um that may be because i turned your seat heater up to full yeah thanks heat for <laughs> <this>. <laughs> yeah so i'm not having a stroke i'm actually just sweating with heat um We've taken it to the beach and to the local parks, obviously just to get a sense for where it fits in in your life. And it really is that leisurely, uh, just comfortable drive that, you know, you don't necessarily have to prove anything, but with that M badge, you certainly can. Um, and, you know, this is just an all round cool car. Yeah, that's, it says M, i on the back but the thing is that it's not always growling and shouting at you to kind of drive it fast and drive it hard it's happy to be relaxed and to be a comfortable cruiser sports car and that's really what i guess the z range is about it's about having that performance you know it's there but you know that you the car will also be comfortable with not using it all the time agreed so there you have it, BMW Z4 Zakumpf, I just like saying it, so the future. It's not battery driven, but certainly sounds awesome. Uh, topless driving and uh, convertible, just really good fun. An all around excellent sports car and another great addition to the, I won't say the German one, but the Z range from Zakumpf. BMW. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. It is somewhere around here. <laughs> Click that button, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's gesture control. <laughs> See you next time. See ya.